15th of June, halfway through the month. Um, this video is items, I want to say 8, 9, 10, and 11. Maybe 12. Um, Mercy's in here. We're waiting for Daddy to, and Chris, to get out of uh, Kroger. He's been in there for a little while and I was bored and I was like, well, let me try and edit my video together from the other day so these are with the exception of Krispy Kreme they were all gotten or done on my actual birthday because these were items that either had to be redeemed that day or it just made sense to do them together so what happened was Krispy Kreme was recorded on the day that I tried all the different uh, Taco Bell sauces I went back upstairs and at that point Chris had woken up and it was like 10 a.m and he was like I really kind of want something sweet do you want to go get your free Krispy Kreme dozen so that's what this next clip is it's change of plans uh chris decided we should go get the krispy kreme donuts today <laughs> just because he really wanted them and it's like they're my birthday donuts but okay you're driving apparently there was one right at the street i had no idea there was one that close um so we got my dozen glazed donuts I'm gonna split one with mercy real quick while he's in circle okay bye smokes Those look delicious. I'll take one right from the center. Wait. Mercy for a donut. There you go. She never had one. Ooh. That's a rare treat. Because I'm not going to give her a donut. <laughs> On a regular basis. Hi, baby. Hey. You want this half? Uh. Mm, I'm still recording. Hang on. So the next item was on my actual birthday. I'd worked the night before, and I was like, I have to get my free Starbucks drink today, but I also really need to sleep. So I got off work, went to sleep, and then woke up around. Four four o'clock maybe Chris went with me and we walked Mercy first so that'll be the next clip
once we got back from our walk, we went to get coffees. I had a $5 coupon from Heine Brothers. And my drink that I got was like $5.65. So that one wasn't completely free. I did spend money on the extra 65 cents plus a 20% tip. I think it was really like literally like a dollar fifty six because it would only do like twenty percent of the twenty of the you know sixty five cents that was left. Um, Cause I do say that that is I I have tipped at the places that I can tip I do tip there. Little cookie too. Thanks. Have a good one. The coffee's good. That was good just now. The little sip I did take. Hey Mercy. I got you yeah. a little a little cookie. This is what her pup cup looked like from Hind Brothers. Yeah. So this was what I got. So Honey Brothers is a local chain in a little area and um, they don't do a free birthday drink. They do, you get $5 like a coupon. I redeemed that for a drink that's $5.65. So I did spend like $1.87 between that and the 20% tip, which 20% of 65 cents is very much so it really wasn't a whole lot with that in tax um, Their lids are a little bit different from Starbucks too. They're much more domed Which I feel like leaves more room for the uh, Like if you got like a ice mocha, which is a whipped cream drink. I Like it though I don't think Chris was a fan Where she's enjoying her pup cup. Little piggy. And the Starbucks ones are like little, the little sample cup sizes. But on her gotcha day, I got her in a short cup. That was like a tall cup. It wasn't filled up all the way. And then they also gave her like a little dog treat. She, she pretty much got rid of the whipped cream already too. It's your basic cold brew. It's supposed to be a vanilla, a creamy, creamy vanilla cold brew, I think is what it had on it. But, uh, it doesn't take, taste super vanilla-y to me. My tummy's gonna hurt. I was gonna go to Dunkin', but I misread what their birthday deal was. It's just, like from the day before, the day of, or the day after your birthday, the first time you purchase something there, it starts it for the whole day, you get three times points for other Dunkin' Reward things. So it's like, okay. So it's not even that I like, like if you were to go to Applebee's and spend $15, at that same time, you would get a dessert. Dunkin', you have to go there on a specific day and then spend enough money to get three times the points to then get a reward. And it's like, and, and even then, I guess, you know, the reward isn't necessarily something you have to use that day. But still, I never go to Dunkin'. So, I would have no reason to go there and spend extra money whenever I'm trying to do the freebie thing. With this one, at least, it was like... I knew I was probably gonna have to spend a few a few extra cents to do a thing, and I didn't want to get a drink and not tip them. So, 
You want any more of this? You find snap? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you get all jacked up on caffeine. On cold brew. Go home work OT. The next thing was at Panera, um, you get a free pastry. So I got that. I can tell the green. Uh, Coffee needed. Jacked up on caffeine over here. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Oh, belly hurts. <laughs> you know. I didn't think about the fact that I might need to eat this with a fork. Yeah, wait till we so get I'm just gonna wait. wait. But this was the free item from Panera. I'll film a review later. This dog is a maniac, maniac. For pastry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna order my star. And then the last thing is Starbucks. You get any drink or a hot food item for free. And by the time I added all the customizations, I ended up with like a $10 drink. Got it for free. And that'll go here. So I just ordered my birthday drink and I went hog wild. <laughs> I would never order something like this. It was a good $10 drink. But I'm like, if I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get something. This is my new uh, neighborhood Starbucks. Like since we've moved here. I'm gonna sit over here and wait. And I love that they have these windows that open up. There's just a little window still here. So I got, as you saw, I got a venti Americano with six shots of blonde ristretto espresso and um, six or straight up shots of Wanda espresso and a caramel sauce in the cup, um, light ice, a vanilla sweet cream cold foam, and a strike of a cinnamon dolce topping on top, and vanilla syrup. So hopefully Chris likes this one. I normally don't get super sweet drinks, but with the extra espresso, I wanted it just like, these are like all the extra add-ins and toppings and stuff that are normally extra that I don't ever order. But on when it's your birthday drink, basically the vibe is to make it as silly as possible. At least, at least is what I try to do. Normally, I don't go to Starbucks as often as I have them for the last few months. So sometimes my birthday drink is just a basic like vanilla sweet cream cold brew because I'm like, well, I never get this, so let me get this special one treat. But anymore, I really don't order the vanilla sweet cream cold brew because I've figured out that the cold brew is kind of more expensive than just getting an Americano with like cream and vanilla syrup added and then using my 25 stars that I seem to always have at least 25 stars banked 
that I can get a drink, pay for it, and then those stars are then like basically extra points by the time anything, by the time I order again. Um, I'm just waiting for it now. I'm trying to think if I picked drive through or in store pickup. I'm pretty sure I did in store. Yeah, this one's mine. I see her pouring my caramel sauce on it. She's pouring it after she put the cold brew in, but that's fine. Um, it's not, it's just gonna clump in the bottom now. But that's okay. I did order it like in the parking lot and then immediately walk out of the car. Normally I'll order it like from the house and then drive the five minutes here and it's ready and waiting by the time I walk in. And it's never anything that's complicated to make the cold foam is like a whole other step in process in itself that I normally would never ask for. Normally my drink is pretty straightforward. It's just pour some stuff in and you're good to go. Oh, it's ready. monstrosity. The, the caramel is warm or the espresso is warm. I don't know which. Maybe it's because there were so many shots. There were like six shots in it. But let's take a sip. Okay, I'm gonna take this outside. Oh, I didn't get her pop cup. Just keep hitting my head all week. Yeah. All right, take a sip. Don't look at the sticker. I mean, like I can't read Greek. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere between hot and. Yeah, dry. it's because there's so many shots in it. And I put light ice. I shouldn't shouldn't have put light ice. It's not bad. Right. I don't know what it is. So there's not a whole lot that's in it that like. It's just syrup. Yeah. So. It's a venti iced Americano with six shots. It would normally only get four mm -hmm. of blonde espresso, which is the extra caffeine, ristretto shots, which makes it less water in it. And so it's more concentrated. Um, so it should be a stronger taste. Vanilla sweet cream cold foam lined the cup with caramel with light ice and cinnamon dolce topping on top, which is like a cinnamon sugar topping and yeah so that's that's what it is <laughs> my ten dollar drink with all the extras added to it that i got for free i feel like i could mess with it if it took out the foam and oh the foam is one of the things that's like the best part that i never get so whenever i get whenever i get the uh pum the pumpkin cream cold brew it comes with the foam on top now the foam making cream makes sense well, because it's cold foam, so it's it's the cream that's added, and it has like a powder added to it. That's like a. Oh, well, that's a that's a cheat. Let me try it again after you. Okay, here you go. You try it. And she put the caramel in after she had the water and stuff added. But normally you would line the cup with it, and then add the shots and the stuff. So that's what. This is just sugar, and I love it. Yeah, that's literally just like a pile of caramel at the bottom because she added it afterward. Really Normally good. you would take an empty cup and drizzle and then add the stuff. The foam is the foam is, is good because it turns into cream. Mm-hmm. I, I, I figured you'd like it. But then it also has six shots of espresso in it. Well, it's a good thing you haven't had any coffee today. It's a good thing I haven't had, you know, a whole already cold brew. Alright, I'm head up. Yeah. the cinnamon roll with the pound of icing I did already take a couple bites just to make sure that it was warmed through it was not when I took those bites it's still pretty cold it's probably still pretty cold it's a big bitch you call it a cinnamon roll it's more like a big giant chunk of like coffee cake I don't see any rolls I mean they, they roll them and then they bake them in like a square pan, I think. It's so sweet. It literally tastes like 
There's like a, there's a cake. There's that warm gooey center. Whoop. Just pockets and pockets of brown sugar cinnamon. This is how much of my Starbucks drink I have left when drinking it in spurts. This is the layer <laughs> caramel on the bottom of it. Whew. All right. I was going to have diabetes for one day. And yeah, that was pretty much what I did on my birthday. Those are the freebies.